Okay, Gregor, so tomorrow is the first individual time trial of the race. What does that involve for the mechanics? Uh, that's a, a lot of changing and a lot of logistics. In the morning we have to be there with the bus or with the truck to set up everything. And then afterwards uh, we have maybe some cha changes after the first training. We see uh, different gearings, what we cannot expect now. We, we depend on the wind, for example, and the climbs and everything. But the climbs we know, but the wind we don't know yet. Does each rider have a spare time trial bike? For sure, yeah, for sure. Everybody has one time trial bike and spare, and uh, Burrito uh, has two, so he brought his home bike as well. And have you guys been working on the time trial bikes all day? Yes, unfortunately. <laughs> I spend my day with time trial bikes, yeah. So if it's windy, will you go with the CC80 in the front? There might be the 60 then. The 80 would be uh, the first choice, but if it's windy, we're going to go to 60 or 40 wheel from, from Mavic. And uh, it's also for the, depending on the wind, we, at the moment we have 55 in front, so might be 54, but that change for the leaders, not, not for everybody. And an 1121 at the back or? 1123. So this is the Katusha measuring rig for all their bikes, but at the moment we've got Joaquin Rodriguez's first time trial bike in the stand. So he's got his SRM power meter on here. And as Gregor said earlier, he's got his preferred kind of all conditions being equal setup, which is a 55 front chainring and a CC80 deep front wheel. They've put Rodriguez's bike in the stand just to make sure that his position meets the UCI requirements, which primarily are that the nose of the saddle must be at least five centimeters behind the bottom bracket. So here we can see this is exactly in line with the bottom bracket and this nose of the saddle, if we push this down, which I can't do, is around five centimeters behind it. And also, the distance between the bottom bracket and the extensions is set according to UCI regulations, so they'll be checking that too. And they've got the spirit level here to make sure that they measure on a level. Obviously the bike's going to be checked against the UCI's own measuring rig in the morning, so they may have to make a few adjustments then too. And we'll prepare all the material for the following day or fix any damaged parts.